Hey guys, Jassassini here and welcome to the channel. Today we are on to another episode of Under the Scope and we are checking out the three warehouses mod which will give us three player homes in Good Neighbor. Now this mod was created by Al Ha and it was ported to Bethnet by Lando Commando. This particular mod is also available on the Nexus by Zork Has. Now guys, we have got six bonus mods that we are going to be doing with this, which is going to be a ton of fun. Three of which are weapons, which of course is a Luger. Then we'll be using the 9mm pistol. And then of course guys, I have to use the grease gun. So we will be checking out three warehouse settlements in Good Neighbor. And they all have their own separate workshops, which I think is really cool, guys, because you can really make them your own. So, guys, to unlock these particular warehouses, we need to go to the third rail. We need to open the barter option with Whitechapel Charlie, and then exit to start the quest. Entertainment down the stairs. Boy, we got room. beer. You ain't buying beer, you ain't buying. I've got a few minutes to browse. Don't have more than you can handle. Now that you're liquored up, got a proposition for you. I need a dirty girl to do some dirty, dirty work. Blood on the pavement, bodies in the ground, that kind of thing. Interested? I'll get it done. You better. Now go out there and bust some heads. You there. We need to have a conversation. Haha, <laughs> not right now buddy, I'll catch you later. So guys, once we do complete this quest, which of course is very quick, and we have got fantastic weapons to do it with, we can buy the permits, then we can access the workbenches. So first off guys, we are just going to set the pit boy so we know where we are going. Now guys, into the first warehouse we go, and we are going to be using the Luger 1K mod, which of course is by Kokaz93. This mod is available on Bethnet for Xbox, and it's also available on the Nexus. This mod adds the Luger to the Commonwealth that appears on vendors, on raiders, gunners, and even these trigger men we are up against now. It also has custom animations with all moving parts, which I think is really cool, as well as it comes with a reflex sight, a scope, and even the glow sight will actually move with the fire mechanism, which is an awesome thing that the modder has done. This mod has got a couple of requirements. One of them is the see-through scopes mod, and the other one is the 9mm browning redux, which we will be using in the next warehouse. So guys, the see-through scopes mod is by Henk Spamadres, and it is available on all platforms through Bethnet. It adds a short and medium range scope you can see through, much like the vanilla reflex sights. Also, all scopes are craftable at a weapons workbench, and they can also spawn on the weapons of the NPCs. Most weapons feature 2.5, 4 and 8 times zoom, but remember guys, the 4 and 8 times zoom will be affected by the sniper perk. It also has a craftable holotape, so you can customize the scope in the settings. So in this warehouse, the next weapon up is the Browning high-powered 9mm pistol Redux, which is by Painter2099. This particular mod is available on Bethnet for both Xbox and PC. This mod adds a 9mm pistol from Fallout New Vegas, with new models, textures and modifications. The gun uses its own 9mm ammo that appears in the game from level 15. It can be bought from vendors, removed from dead enemies or found in the world like any other weapon. It has also been added or scripted to the level list so it will not cause any conflict. So 
So guys, we are up to the Lucky Last Warehouse and we are using one of my favourite mods which is the Grease Gun 1K Textures. Now this gun is available on the Nexus by Deadpool2099 and there are two variants on Bethnet for Xbox. This variant is by Electro Avenue 5 and it makes the Grease Gun craftable at a chem workbench and also includes a damage modifier which of course can go from zero to very fucking powerful. The other variant is by Painter2099 and it is the exact same weapon except it has been added to the level list from level 5 and has no damage modifier. Now guys I have a grease gun submachine gun replacer running and that mod is by Electro Avenue 5. It is only available for Xbox. This gun replaces all vanilla submachine guns with the grease gun. It requires either variant of the grease gun on Bethnet, but Electro Avenue 5 does recommend using the 1K variant as that was the mod it was tested with. I've heard some exterminator cleaned out the rats in the old warehouses. Wouldn't know anything about that, would you? I might. Depends on what you have for me. Here you are. Every single cap. As agreed. So guys, now that quest is all over, now it's actually time for the real challenge. And that is buying the permits from Daisy. Now these permits are 9,000 caps each guys, but that will depend on your charisma and barter skills. Fred oh, Allen, new Hotel face Rector. walks into my store, no, look here. and you're not even screaming yet. Very polite. You let me know if anything catches your fancy. I'll take a look, sure. Remember, no returns, exchanges, or death threats. Now guys, to go and access our prime real estate. These warehouses come with all full settlement modes inside of every building. They have link beds, they have a drink fountain that adds three water, and a power conduit on each floor that adds two power. Now all these warehouses do have a very different layout, a different amount of floors, and of course different rooms, which will be a lot of fun to set up and decorate and make it your own. So as you can see guys, once you have the permit, <coughs> it actually unlocks the workshop. So the mod I like to use when I get into my settlements is Scrap All The Things by Ashrose93. Now this mod is available on all platforms through Bethnet. Now guys, read before installing this one and I must say use it at your own risk. This mod allows you to scrap pretty much anything anywhere so it works fantastic with mods that expand settlement borders and also for building in custom locations. But put this one above any mods that add new objects or mods that allow you to craft objects that are in the game. And guys also put this below any mods that add workbenches for custom locations. This mod will disable pre-combined data of objects throughout the entire commonwealth because that is exactly what is necessary for us to be able to scrap everything including the entrances to buildings. When you scrap something and the workshop does not recognize it, it will simply come up as a miscellaneous object. Now guys, you can scrap things which could actually break the scripting, like quest markers, animation markers, so you must be very careful. You can also scrap NPCs, so be careful about scrapping essential NPCs, because this could really stuff up the game. Not only that guys, this mod is best used for scrapping outside of vanilla settlements. If you are only going to be building inside of vanilla settlements, I recommend STS which is scrap that settlement. That could be your better option. However, I have used this mod for all my scrapping needs for many many years and I have not had any troubles with it at all. At the end of the day guys, if you do hard saves regularly, you should not have any problems whatsoever. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Under the Scope. 
that is seven mods in a very short time so thank you very much for watching i really do appreciate it guys take it easy stay safe and i'll catch you on the next video so bye for now